are separate from anything else. Yeah. It's Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Also, too, yeah. yes, yeah. we're all in this together. It's not just because you say Black Lives Matter doesn't mean all lives don't matter. Oh, we're going to fall out and be slain. Be <laughs> I've been trying to right? say that. I'm so happy to hear you say that. You, We all matter, but Black Lives right now matter, and they matter to God, mm. and they matter to us. Yeah. And so the the things that have to change, and who, who said... Um, the other night, I think it was Rick Rigsby said that the oppressor. Well, that the that the oppressor has to be the one to fix the problem, not, not the, the oppressed. Oppressed. Right. It's not It's not going to be fixed yeah. by someone that is oppressed. The oppressor must fix it. And so basically. <laughs> Until you, until you really wind the clock back to the 1500s and the 1600s, and right. you, this really got bad then. I know a lot about that. Start that conversation because I think that's important for people to know. It didn't start in America. This whole uh, supremacy didn't start in America. It's, it started in the, in, in the Dutch countries, in Europe, in, in colonialism, in the pursuit of new lands and new territories and, and going after the gold and the silver. When you think of a, a country like Ghana, Ghana and I am the same age. Hmm. Nigeria isn't but a couple of years older than me, mm. okay? So when you look at these countries, like these, these countries were infused on top of tribes because the value of the Europeans was on getting the gold and the silver and making the money. Slavery wasn't about racism. Slavery was about money. Slavery was about finding a way to fund this country and get it up off the ground. Slavery wasn't about racism. Slavery wasn't about racism. And it was a business deal. And then after the agriculture went to industrial age, there was no need for slaves. And then it, we went from uh, the Emancipation Proclamation uh, down to Jim Crow because now you don't know what to do with me because, you know, you don't need me anymore. And, and yet you don't want me to be one of you. And so now I'm figuring I'm lost in the sauce. So thanks for taking it back beyond the ship because my children need to know that their heritage didn't start with a whip. Mm -hmm. or a noose figure i'm lost in the sauce slavery wasn't about racism figure i'm lost in the sauce slavery wasn't about racism figure i'm lost in the sauce i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem recha aquadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders a great millstone also i want to give a sincere shalom to the elect and peace to the elect israelites scattered abroad throughout the uh, globe okay I want to go into this video with TD Jakes okay <laughs> um, I saw this video floating around and uh, TD Jakes says that slavery was all about business had nothing to do with racism okay now all the people that could have been taken to slavery right on a whole scale level right why was it just the Israelites? But anyway, um, this is what he says. It, it, it has nothing to do with that. I will also say that if it was just business, um, what would be the reason to lynch, castrate you, and hang you? What kind of business is that? These are curses from the Most High. But first, I'm going to go to this. I, I got to go to this first. This is proof that T.D. Jakes is all set up, man. Okay, I went to a site. And I said, well, let me find out more in this, this character, the Dr. T.D. Jakes. Which I'm sh I will show you that this man has a fake degree. His, his college that he so-called went to is not accredited. Okay? This is a, a, a canonical list of pastors and teachers with fake doctorates. Right? And you know what? I thought maybe, okay, people talk and they say things. But I went further into it, right? <laughs> uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum, which everybody should. I don't know if anybody knows she's the woman 
I forgot who she's one of those great pastors. Gloria Copeland, Dr. Kenneth Copeland, Creflo, Dr. Creflo Dollar, right? These people are all set up. They're gone there. They're one of the, uh, you know, these 1948ers uh, knockoff colleges to send you in to train you, man. Right? I'm just going through names that you may recognize. Um, I know, um, what's her name? That um, Joyce Myers, she's on the list. Right? Uh, I'm scrolling down here. Dr. Benny Hinn. I mean, come on, man. Benny Hinn. Okay. Dr. T.D. Jakes. Snakes. His college he went to was um, FICU. Is not only unaccredited, but somehow T.D. Jakes did 12 years worth of higher education and less than five years there. <laughs> so how was he able to do that? Don't say he was this great learner, right? But anyway, so I went further. I'm just going through this real quick before I get back to the lesson. This is a list, legitimately, of a, it's called Scholar, uh, Scholar, Scholario Unaccredited Universities, right? Let's go here. Let's see where the Bishop T.D. T. D. Jakes go. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to scroll through it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to scroll through it. Because T.D. Jakes went through one of these unaccredited universities. Okay, here it goes right here. It says, Friends International Christian University. Okay, and this is where T.D. Jakes got his fake doctrine degree. Okay, anyway, we don't really harp on stuff like that because we know it's all fake anyway. We know he's all set up and where he was taught, his teachers knew nothing and did, taught him nothing about the Israelites. This is all set up, okay? So anyway, um, he goes on to say that uh, slavery was a, a business. And as I said before, then if it was a business, a business could have been hand, handled a whole lot differently than that. But let's go to Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass. And of course it was business uh, after, you know, using us to uh, be enslaved, we were business. That's what happens when you own or, or rule over someone. It's conducted business, okay? Anyway, uh, let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, But sh it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to, to observe and do all these commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So when you go into the scriptures, we can go into um, Deuteronomy, you know, just going down to the 48th verse. Some of these things in Deuteronomy, just, you know, just to put it out there that some of these things happened in 70 AD. But then you have people who wants to say that everything, all this happened in 70 AD, which was not true. It says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send thee against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and a one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, of course, it's business. Why wouldn't it be? You think they're just going to get slaves and they're just going to hold on to them and they're all just going to sit in one big cottage and you're going to feed them? No, slavery was all about slavery is all about business. That's what it is now when you get up to go to uh, work and the way they're doing the things the way they're doing. It's still a form of slavery. But this is beyond slavery. This is, um, this is a curse from the Heavenly Father. This is not even a normal slavery of that transatlantic slave trade. That was not a normal so-called slavery. Right? That was a massacre. Right? That was a, a destruction of, of, of a nation of people. And of course... They wanted to make money off of it. Right? Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right? The biblical Israelites, which proves on people that's over there now ain't the biblical Israelites. But we lost our heritage. So it was about taking your heritage. And after our heritage was taken, you had these 
pork chop priest and say, forget about it. We now moving forward. You know what we moving forward? We're moving forward with a false identity. We're moving forward following different doctrines and following different gods, following different holidays. That's the key to us being taken down and losing our heritage. That's what it was all about. The Lord took our heritage and put us in hardcore slavery, bondage, okay? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. So you got a lot of people say, oh, this is 70 AD. This happened to the Jew, you know, other Jews, uh, these other people that claim to be Jews. Then when the Lord speaks of some form of curse, it'll be something greater than anything you've seen, right? And we the only ones as Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're the only ones that fit these curses to a T, right? Like Joel, the third chapter, said that... Uh, a boy would be sold for a harlot and a girl for wine that they might drink, right? That's business. But it's it's a, it's a wicked form of business, right? Selling boys for harlots, man. That that's not business, right? That's that's being destroyed. That's an atrocity, man. I don't want to hear that. That's not been I'm just doing a quick video. Showing you that TD Fakes is phony, man. It's a phony, phony pork chop pastor, man. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction. of This is Numbers 35 and 31. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer, which is guilty of death, but he shall surely be put to death. Right? And ye shall take no satisfaction for him that fled to the city of his refuge, that he shall come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right? This is what this man did. This is what Edom did. He came in and defiled the land. Right? It says, defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit. Talking about the Israelites. Wherein I dwell. Right? For I, the Lord, dwell among the children of Israel, right? The children of Israel. So according to the curses, who were the children of Israel? Who were the children of Israel that went through all these curses? You blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. See, this guy, um, T.D. Jakes, he's sitting up here. Um, they're all sitting up here in this, you know, uh, these Edomites. They're leading him to questions. They already know what the whole interview is about. They already know what they're going to talk about. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to use um, these pastors to smooth out, you know, racism and what's been done so they can smoothly bring in a new world order from all angles. One religion, one faith, one belief. Uh, nationalities get together, don't matter who you are. Love one another, love everybody. But that's not in the scriptures. Never said that in the scriptures. They took what the scripture says about the Israelites amongst one another and spread it into all nations, right? This is sick, man. Our heritage is being taken is uh, much more uh, than a business, right? So I, I can't harp on that enough. This man has literally said, that slavery had nothing to do with the business. I mean, it had nothing to do with um, racism. It started over with the Dutchess, the, the Portuguese, the Spaniards, basically Edomites, man. Right? And then all of a sudden it came to America. Right. It, it, in America, it, it was to help lift the American economy. America didn't even have an con economy, man. You had the Native Americans that was here. <laughs> and, and they came over and stole it, stole the land, you know, heaped to themselves the land and, and stole it and uh, tortured, you know, Israelites, no, uh, Native Americans. No treaties ever kept. They did all this. And T.D. Jake says, well, it started in Europe and this and that. No, that's because, first of all, slavery goes way back before then. The children of Israel, we, we had our, the Israelites had our 
battles with those heathen nations, man. And other nations on top of other nations, right? Uh, Exodus 15 and 3 says the Lord is a man of war. But the whole uh, the whole thing was the scriptures prophesied they would be taken to the land of the north and be taken on ships and put into slavery. See, if it flat out said that, then everybody would see it. But it's not meant for everybody to see because they probably wouldn't have printed it like that. Okay? So it's easy to see that, you know, the, we are the only ones fit that curse, right? And, of course, the Hebrews, when we went down into Africa and Spain and, all, and certain, certain Middle East countries and we went into certain places, well, guess what? It was all-out attack on taking Hebrews. And that's what they did. So T.D. Jakes, he has zero history. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. But with a man with a fake diploma, you know, what do you expect? Who, who uh, set him up to teach what he teaches. I mean, what do you expect? That's all I have on that, Shalom.